Hey, I made sparks fly at the beginning of the video. How about giving me a thumbs up? Click that thumbs up and we'll keep going. All right, this is the threaded rod we cut. It's about six, seven inches long. And you'll notice that there's a nut on here. It's always a good idea when you're cutting this threaded rod to put a nut on. That way you may use that nut to pull it off and straighten out your threads in case you've mangled them while you did the cutting. Also, make sure that you file this down before you go to install it because you don't want to get cut up by these sharp pieces on the end. Another thing, if you put the threaded rod in a vise, I recommend you put on a couple nuts and put the vise on the nuts so that you don't damage the threads of the threaded rod. That threaded rod started out as 10 feet long and it was a lot cheaper buying the 10 foot piece than it was buying any shorter pieces. The cost per inch was much less. Remember, this channel's frugal factor. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up, and let's get to installing the pullout table. Well, I made a mistake when I started. It's much easier to thread these into the frame first and then raise them up. At least that's the way it seems. We'll see in a minute if it holds true. All right, let's see. Okay. Give that a little guidance. Oop. That one made it. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! <laughs> All right, stay there. That's the thing when you're a one-man show. Sometimes you wish you had a third or fourth hand. Right, I can sit on my makeshift seat here. Now, these holes were drilled through the steel frame by laying the frame on top, centering it exactly where it needed to go in all three places. And then I drilled through the frame, through the steel. So I'm 99% confident that all of these should line up properly. Okay, I had to wrestle a little bit with one of these. I did get the center section in, but this rod, I didn't make it long enough. I should have made it a little bit longer. That made this entire thing difficult and kind of challenging trying to get that one in there. See, there's almost nothing, there's nothing protruding out there like this. I should have made it longer. Now, of course, when I'm done, I will cut these down at the proper length. I'll shear them off so nothing's sticking out on the top or the bottom. But for right now, we're still in prototype mode. Nothing is final. So let's get the drawer and we'll see how that looks. The pullout table installation is complete. And it's turned out really well. It's a solid installation. It's not going anywhere, and it's almost the perfect width. If you remember back when I prototyped it, and I did a prototype video of building this inside my garage, which I'll, I'll link, um, I was a little worried about the width, thinking it might be too wide. But actually, it could be about another inch wider. This is 29 inches wide right now. 
and it could be 30 inches based on the distance we are from the table and how we sit at the kitchen table in the house an extra inch would be okay but for now we're going to keep it the way it is because it's pretty solid and things change so after it all gets done maybe after you know six months or a year I might decide I want to make a change and, and redo the table but right now it's good to go really really good quality drawer slides um, they locked in closed position right and they will also lock in the open position so it makes it really convenient I still need to make the the top for it which I still have to do but there's a lot of other things that I'm working on that are more exciting to do than to finish this top off right now so so that's it hopefully seeing this video gives you some new ideas or helps you out in your van construction if you like this video please give me some positive feedback with a thumbs up subscribe and hopefully you'll see me on the next one there's been a change in plants this is the table the pull-out table and originally I was going to have a cabinet here which is designated by these yellow lines and that cabinet was going to slide out and on the inside in this area here was going to be the sealed propane tank and I was going to have that so I could slide the cabinet out so I could access and change out the propane tank over here there was going to be a flip down cabinet or flip down opening where I could reach in and turn the propane on and turn the propane off but we changed our mind we're still going to have a flip down area here because above this wheel well is where the laundry is going to be the dirty laundry it's going to be a waterproof bag dry bag in there to stuff our laundry the propane box will still be here but here just below this pull out table we're going to have sliders so we can slide open and slide closed and on the inside here we're going to put drawers in a removable cabinet something off the shelf so we can easily change it something that we would buy at like Ikea or Home Depot Office Depot some plastic drawers or something like that that would fit in here All right all depends what the boss wants All right but that way we can slide these open and we can slide out whatever's in here and still access the propane tank it also gives us a lot of options with how we're going to use this little space in here and it gives me direct access to that space from inside I could even remove those sliding doors and crawl back there if I had to if it was snowing outside and I didn't want to walk around to the back to get into the garage so that's what I'm working on right now I need to be able to put up a frame here that I can cut slots in so I can have those panels slide back and forth. 